Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I've got another food shopping haul for you today. And um, what a mission this one was. Basically I filmed the whole thing and then deleted the clip. And that was not good because I'd already put my shopping away. So I tried two different software recovery programs on two different laptops and I still couldn't get it back. So I had to get everything back out, which is why this video is kind of a little bit in different places. Cause I was like, right, this is in this cupboard. So I'm just gonna take it out and film it there and then put it back. I said I was guaranteed to forget a few things and I did. I also had some carrots and some deodorant that the carrots were outside because I keep them in like a box in the garden because it's that cold here in the UK that we can do that. And a couple of deodorants which obviously were already in the bathroom. So other than that, I think I remembered everything. So I'll take through everything I bought and then at the end I will show you our meal plan for next week. This is definitely a healthier food shop. We just have overindulged over Christmas basically. I want to get back into working out and eating more fruit and veg, cutting out some of the junky stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna enjoy my glass of wine over the weekend, but just gonna try and rein it in a little bit. Not following a particular plan. I'm gonna take bits from everything that I like. So some sort of slimming world where you replace a lot of your plate with like veg and salad and like way things like cheese and that it's just common sense really so i just wanted to say that before we start in case you're not interested in that kind of shopping i mean obviously we're a family of five so i'm not going to go suddenly on a massive restrictive that's it we're all only having three milkshakes a day diet and we're not actually like calorie counting or anything we're just going to try and create a bit more of a healthy lifestyle by borrowing bits from all these different plans that are out there using our common sense and just trying to move a little bit more. I really wanna get back into my workouts because I really miss that. So we've definitely got a plan to start that as well. So I'm gonna take you through everything I've bought. At the end, I'll let you know the kind of meals I'm making next week and I'll tell you how much I spent as well. So let's go and have a look. Right, so store cupboard wise, we've got some lighter than light mayo and some 50% less fat salad cream. I got my usual rapeseed oil spray which I always use and I'm not keen on fry light because it does ruin pans but it is okay for cooking in an air fryer or in an oven it doesn't seem to be as bad because you spray like the chips rather than having to like spray the pan so I got one of these because I really like the buttery flavour gives you chips and veg and that a really nice sort of taste so I'm not going to put it in my actual frying pan but I will use it in the oven two tins of baked beans and four tins of peeled plum tomatoes I got four because you get money off if you buy four I've got some tins of tuna which they have stopped putting their plastic packaging around them which is really good but you have to make sure you pick up four to get the deal again so that's also really good that they've stopped packaging them like that but I sometimes forget to actually <laughs> pick up the fourth one then you don't get the saving. That's just tuna chunks in brine. Smoked paprika because I use it on pretty much everything all the time. Some double strength apple and black currant and double strength orange and mango these are both no added sugar. We've got 24 free range eggs because we are going through a lot at the moment. We're having omelettes and boiled eggs and things. So we've got those, six bunny bites and six packs of chili heatwave Doritos. These are 85p and they're just as good as Pomba, if not better. And the chili heatwave were £1.25 for six as well. So over here to the breads and kind of, I don't know, I call it my breakfast cupboard. Um, we've got two loaves of the Neville's wholemeal bread. It's actually wet because it's been in the freezer because like I said put everything away and then got it all back out this is only 45p a loaf I believe or it might even be 40p and it's a whole full size loaf of wholemeal bread so I've got two of those and obviously I put them in the freezer because we've already got a bread open if you can hear a noise that is siren snoring in the background <laughs> I've got two lots of corn thins I have these a lot for my lunch these are rice cakes I put um, tuna mayo with like chopped onion in or some egg mayo or just cheese spread and ham and things cracked black pepper rivita i absolutely love rivita but i've never tried the black pepper ones so i thought they sound good and they were on club card deal for 80p these were one pound 20. i got some of these warburton thins because oscar prefers these to like a whole sandwich and they were 60p reduced from a pound and they're like the high fiber ones and i also got some wraps if you watch these hauls regularly, you'll know that I buy the Tesco's Neville's wraps, which are the white ones, and they just don't come apart. They just stick together. And I've tried everything. I've tried loosening them with the spatula. I've tried wiggling the packet. I've tried microwaving them. And the last few lots I've had, I've had to throw most of the wraps away. And these were only, I think they're 90p today. And you can actually see in the bag, they kind of move around and stuff. And they're also, they're also like low fat, high fiber, 
and they just look better quality so I got those instead because otherwise you're just throwing your money away aren't you? Right so frozen wise I got some of the Chip Shop Omega 3 fish fillets. These are really nice, they're actually Pollock but they're really white inside and Oscar really likes these. I got two of the really, really cheap thin and crispy pepperoni pizzas. So as we're in lockdown here, the boys are off school and these are really thin and there's not a massive amount of cheese or pepperoni, but I just think sometimes they're quite nice to do as a lunch. We can put like mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, peppers on them and then they can have a couple of slices each with like some fruit and a yogurt and it's just something a bit different rather than a sandwich or like a toasty. So I got two of these because at 67p it just seems crazy. I also got two of the sort of more substantial ones, I suppose. We got a pepperoni stuffed crust. These were only two pound each. And we also got a takeaway cheese meltdown with a cheese stuffed crust. So they look really good and they'll be like an evening meal. Not on the same day as they have it for lunch, obviously, but they're just, these are so handy to have in. I got two lots of chicken breast portions. We are gonna be having a slow cooker pulled chicken and I can't remember what the other one's for now, but I will tell you at the end when I go for my meal plan. Chicken thighs are for a Nando's style meal, but I'm gonna have halloumi wraps, wedges, salad, and all that kind of thing. And then I've got two very small, well not very small, two small gammon joints. They only serve four, um, so I know that there's no way it's gonna do us five and leftovers. So I've got two, I'm either gonna pop them in the slow cooker, because then it will go a really long way, I don't know whether to put them in the oven and have them sliced really thin and then whatever we've got left over we can use for sandwiches and like maybe make an egg fried rice. They're really nice and there's not very much fat on them at all. I hate it when you buy a gammon joint and like half of it or like a third of it has got a massive chunk of fat. So got those as well. Right, so fresh fruit and veg wise we've got some British brown onions. Again, these are on the club card deal. I think they were 45p and they're quite big ones. The reason I don't normally buy the cheaper onions is because they're normally really tiny and you get a lot of waste. But these are quite big, so I've got two of those. Some all-rounder potatoes, some romaine heart lettuce. I got four red grapefruits or pink grapefruits. These were 29p instead of 50. Two cucumbers and some sweet peppers. I got two lots of baby plum tomatoes and one salad tomato. These are for when we have like gammon egg and chips. I just thought I'd halve them and like roast them like you'd get if you had it like um like a grill, you know. Some bananas, some leeks for our roast dinner on Sunday. I've got some baking potatoes because we're gonna have jackets and they're also handy to have in just for lunches. Two lots of mushrooms. And then I'd already emptied out my whole bags of apples and pears so I thought I'm not gonna take them all out and lay them out separately. So basically I got two lots of the um, Rose Dean Farm pears. They were 40, 45p and you got four. So I got two of those. I've got two bags of the Perfectly Imperfect apples as well. These are actually Braeburn apples and I think they're about 69p and you get four or five in each bag as well. So I've got four lots of fruit in there. I've got some broccoli for our roast dinner and some broccoli for another dinner. Grapes that the boys have already been at, so <laughs> they've already started on those. And then cheese wise, I got a mozzarella and cheese mix. I'm gonna make some wrap pizzas using those Weight Watchers wraps. I got some of this Eat Lean Protein cheese, and this is a very um, mixed opinion on this. We've had it before, and basically it's half the calories of normal cheddar, and I think it's like 90% less fat or something. Yeah, 90% less fat. It's okay in an omelette or like in a toasted sandwich or on a pizza. It's not something I would put out at a buffet or like sit and eat slabs of because it has got a funny texture. If you want some cheese like on your spaghetti or something like that or a pasta dish or on the top of a salad but you don't want the fat in that, this is actually quite good. It's really quite dear, it's four pound, but they were doing it for two pounds. So I thought we'd get another one just to add on to things that we're not too worried about. And then I also got a 30% reduced fat cheddar just to make that cheese and beans on toast. And this is actually really nice. And I, I do rate this one. It's a number four strength. And it's just a really good cheese and you can't tell that it's low fat. I got a 30% less fat halloumi. Again, the less fat one is still really, really nice. It's just a little bit more, the texture is a little bit harder. So it's, it's nice still, I really do enjoy it. A fat-free cottage cheese to have with jackets and salad. Some fat-free Greek yogurt because quite often I'll make very spicy dishes and then dollop a load of Greek yogurt on top. 
not because it's too hot but because i just really like the sort of cooling effect so i've got some of that as well some light clover which was one pound ten some ham and chicken for sandwiches again they've already been at this um this was two pound instead of three pound on club card deal another club card deal was these chocolate fixed layers by muller um, this is Belgian milk, chocolate and caramel and this one is mint and they were a pound each. I got some finished quantum 68 tablets for £9. They should have been, oh, me muller, they should have been 11 Kitchen roll, just the value and some toilet tissue. They are limiting toilet tissue to one per customer, like one pack. So I just got the one of nine but I will be needing to get some more at some point because that does not last long in this house. Um, dishwasher rinse aid and some bin bags and they were really short on bin bags so I just got some heavy duty garden sacks because I refuse to buy the cheapest of the cheap bin bags when you take the bag out the bin and it just splits open and falls everywhere and then you might as well have not bought a bag so <laughs> I use the stronger ones where I can and yes I've still got my Christmas tablecloth on because I really like having a cloth on the table but I've only actually got one and it's the Christmas one so I'm on the lookout for a nice tablecloth that doesn't have stags although I guess we are still in like winter but anyway that is everything I bought it just makes me laugh I can't believe I filmed this twice and I'm going to go and download this onto my hard drive before it disappears I spent just under £110 which I'm really pleased with because I got quite a lot of chicken and gammon and this will last and lots of apples and pears in my fridge drawer so what i will do now is take you through next week's meal plan and try not to delete that right so i'm just going to take you through our meal plan and i've left monday blank because by the time we get around to monday i will probably have gone shopping and re-meal planned so we've got tuna jacket potatoes with cottage cheese it's really hard to see this writing now um yeah tuna jacket potatoes with cottage cheese and salad We've gonna have we're gonna have gammon, egg, homemade chips, grilled tomato, and peas. I'm gonna do a slow cooker pulled smoky chicken with like spaghetti and broccoli, and that'll be in like a sort of smoky paprika sauce. Um, fried egg, I'm gonna do like a Nando's chicken thighs with halloumi salad and a wrap or a couple of wraps. Saturday, we're gonna make pizzas with either pitas, thins, or wraps, whatever we've got out and like defrosted, and then we're gonna have that with wedges and salad. And then on Sunday, we've got roast beef because we have beef left from the joint I bought um, before Christmas, actually. And then we used half for one roast dinner and I've still got half left, so I froze that. So we're going to make some cheesy leeks to go with that, some broccoli, carrots, roast potatoes, and see what we feel like on the day, whether we want to add some peas to that as well. So all of these meals will feature in my upcoming family dinner ideas videos if you're interested in seeing what they look like. So that is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it like i said in yesterday's video i am going to do some like what i eat in a days because i think it's interesting to see what people eat for like breakfast and lunch especially if you're following along on some kind of healthy journey at the moment i've also got more cook with me's to come air fryer videos slow cooker videos all that kind of stuff so if you're not already subscribed please go and do so follow me over on instagram it is just victoria folger leave a big thumbs up for this video and i'll see you all really soon take care guys mm -hmm.